Hello, everyone. Um, we're group seven and we were responsible for analyzing the data from the survey, um, sexy attire study data presentation. Um, and we're Sunshine, Yibing, and Xiang. Um, our first survey question was, what is your age? And we had a total sample size of 93 because um, from the four classes, we had 93 students in total. And our, the age of our sample size ranges, ranged from 18 to 26. And the mode was 20 as well as the median and the mean was 19.9 and the standard deviation was, um, should we start over? I'm so sorry. It's okay, just, yeah, it's okay. Okay, the standard deviation was 1.3. Um, our second question was, what is your gender? And we had three options. Uh, one was male, one was female, and the other was self-reported. Um, and, um, and there were students of non-binary gender, and our sample size was 93 again. Um, our third question was, what US political party do you primarily identify with? And our sample size again is 93. And as you can see, uh, three quarters of our sample size were democratic. Our fourth question was, which religion do you currently identify with? And there were uh, 10 options in total. Um, and our mode was Judaism. So again, um, another question that's uh, religion related is regardless of your current beliefs, which religion were you raised with? And again, out of those 10 religions, um, we have most of the students being Christians um, in our sample. And the second largest group um, is of Judaism with 21.5%. And our mode is Christianity. Um, and because it's a nominal data, nominal scale, we didn't really include the median. And then our first question related to gender is that um, the men that dress proactively are just as competent as men who dress conservatively. Uh, and again, our sample size was uh, 93. And this time, um, most of the students agree um, with like actually 36.6% of the students agree. And then um, the second largest group is um, the neither, neither agree nor disagree, which accounts for 30. 2.3% of the um, sample, si sample, sample, and then the mode um, being agreed this time, and then we also included median because it's an um, ordinal data, and the median is also agreed. And our next question related to gender is actually um, regarding to women. So women who dress proactively are just as competent as women who dress conservatively. And again, um, out of the 93 students, um, our mode is agree and our median is also to agree with this um, statement. And the SAS score distribution, so the way we made this graph is that instead of graphing the individual scores, we actually made, um, we actually grouped every 10 scores um, together. Um, so the width of each uh, column or each bar they can see here is nine. And then on the axis, axis we have SAS scores and then on the Y axis, we have a number of people within each um, group. And then the mode, um, if we see it as a group of SS scores, then the uh, main SS scores ranging from zero to nine would be the mode. But if we see SS scores as individual scores, then the individual score of a four and 29 are the mode. And then the mean this time is zero. And then the maximum SS scores um, out of the student body was um, 80, 81. 
Um, so I'm going to talk about the uh, correlational analysis. So the slide shows the correlation between SAS scores and political party identity. Um, so the um, uh, the different nominal groups are displayed um, on the x-axis and the SDS scores are shown on the y-axis. And the height of the columns represent the group means. And the p-value here is 0 0.005877, which is greater than 0 0.05. So we failed to reject the null hypothesis. Um, so the arrow bars here uh, represent the SEM. Um, so as the SEM gets greater, the length of the arrow bars also get uh, longer. Uh, so this slide is similar. So we performed the ANOVA test and um, shows the correlation between the SS scores with current religions. And the p-value here is 0 0.003398, which is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the current religions are correlated with significant differences in the SS scores. And the height here is also um, the mean and um, the arrow bars still represent the SEM. And as the SEM score gets greater and the, arrow, the length of the arrow bar gets greater. Um, so this slide shows the result of the post hoc test that was performed on the correlation between the SS score and current religions. And uh, the p-values in yellow are statistically significant and it shows that which pair differ from each other. Uh, so the last slide um, shows the correlation of SAS scores with the explicit opinions on women's attire and competence. And the, um, we presented it as a scattered plot graph. And um, on the x-axis, it shows the options that were given to the question of what uh, women who dress proactively are just as competent as women who dress conservatively. And uh, the y-axis um, shows the sexual uh, attitude scale score, which is the SS score. And the correlation coefficient here is negative 0 0.501, uh, which shows a negative trend. And it's, <laughs> it's not that large. <laughs> and the p value is 0 0.00000318, which is less than 0 0.05. Um, and it means that it's significantly, it's statistically significant. And the sample size here is also 93. Okay, so that's our presentation. Thank you. Thank you.